So, you've, uh, you've got your ukulele, you've worked out how to play it, you've got a few songs together and you're ready to go into the wide world uh, and start playing gigs. A little bit of advice for you, uh, built empirically over years and years of, of research and, and one or two mistakes myself. This is gold, this advice. This is the stuff that they, they simply don't teach you in books or even at college. Jimmy McGee's 20 rules for uh, for songwriting and for live performance. Here they are. I share them with everyone you know and we might change the musical world for the better. Number one, with regards to uh, singing and songwriting, don't sing in an American accent. Even if you are American, don't do it. It's much better to sing in your own accent. Number two, a rule that I got from Malcolm McLaren, who was the manager of a little band called the Sex Pistols. This bit of advice I find quite important. Don't play covers for two reasons. Number one, all covers are shit. And number two, they're too difficult. Uh, YouTube has countless examples of this. Uh, <clears throat> there are thousands and thousands of cover versions, ukulele cover versions, on YouTube. And the only ones that are any good are Goo Gugs. Uh, and Finns, <coughs> even if you're a pretty girl, write your own songs. Number three, in a songwriting rule, don't have the word baby in your song unless you're either Diana Ross or referring to a child under two years old. Number four, don't have the word soul in your song unless you're James Brown. Number Five, don't do funk unless you're Bootsy Collins. Number six, and this is one I'm talking myself. Number six, no excuse exists for using a harmonica or a saxophone. Number seven, didgeridoo don't, just didgeridoo don't, okay, it's not going to discuss that one. Number eight, don't sing with your eyes closed doesn't make you feel more, it doesn't make you look more interesting or, or involved, it just makes you look a bit stupid and yes I understand that sometimes it helps you hear the music a little better but you know, practice at home. Uh, number nine, you don't have the blues, what you have is a Fender Strat that your dad probably bought you now, shut up. Number ten, don't sing about drugs. Unless you're, uh, unless you're Sean Ryder or possibly Pete Doherty. Number 11, when no one in, is interested in your music, it doesn't mean you're avant-garde or that you're maybe anti-folk, it just means that you're a bit rubbish. Go home and have a little practice. Uh, number 12, be nice to the sound people, it's, it's, it's always a uh, a, a nice idea to uh, be nice to the same people, you know, they're paying for their sins by having to listen to you rubbish when they could be at home with their family. Number 13, this is an interesting one. When you finish a song, don't say thank you until someone claps. Okay, now some people say it's thank you for listening, but no, please just save your thank you until someone actually claps. Uh, Number 14, don't apologise for anything on stage. Don't come on stage going, oh, I'm sorry, blah, blah, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. If you make a mistake, do it again and pretend that you meant it. Number 15, don't blame the audience. Don't come off stage going, eh, oh, God, what a terrible audience I had, or even worse, on stage. Don't make comments about the audience being bad. It's not their job to enjoy your music, it's your job to entertain them, they could be doing it, they could be at home playing on Xbox 360 or whatever people do on the internet these days. Uh, number 16, guitar solos. Funny one here, personally I quite like guitar solos, but you know, guitar solos tend to be boring, uh, and remember, anybody can play a guitar. Number 17, jazz is melody, noise is just noise. Go write a tune, yeah, and I have that on a, uh, I have that for some of the best noise musicians 
uh, in the country. Uh, noise, it's, it's, it's not music, it comes from a different place, it's noise, it's relevant. Keep it out of my, my songwriting clubs. Uh, number 18, tune up. This, this is an important one, uh, you're amazing the number of times that you'll see this broken. Tune up before you go on stage. Don't walk on stage and spend the first five minutes tuning up. Just don't. Number 19, don't bore the audience with anecdotes unless you're naturally very funny. Yeah, some people just can't do that. Number 20, the last of my rules at the moment. And please feel free to write to me and add these. Number 20, making things more organic is, is great if you're if you're making vegetable soup uh, but it's not very good in some way it usually just means happy nonsense those are the 20 bills for songwriting please feel free to use them and pass them on